Uh, hello and good morning to you. Welcome to <laughs> Unique Devotion. Apparently it's morning. <laughs> I'm not totally awake yet. Um, so today we will be reading Luke chapter 1, um, verses 59 through 66. And it's called, uh, titled, The Circumcision of John the Baptist. Um, so let's just get started. Here we go. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to his father what he would have called him. Called him. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. So they all marveled. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosened. And he spoke, praising God. Then fear came on all who dwelt around them. And all those sayings were discussed throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all those who heard them kept them in their hearts, saying, what kind of child will this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. Ooh. Well, there's already a question right here. So, <clears throat> now, the question here is, what kind of child will this be? And it's referring to the story. So, if you've, you know, you kind of picture it in your mind, a little uh, maybe cartoonish looking story or, or a live action story going on in your mind as to, you know, what's actually happening here, and there's some good stuff here showing that, showing the importance of uh, who John the Baptist was going to be, that he, he was, he was someone special, and uh, I think it's interesting that they point out um, that, uh, in the Bible here, that he was born, and I think that, you know, all of us are special, because, just because we were born, we were born for something, and born for a purpose, and usually, the circumstances may seem a little mundane around your birth, but, um, nevertheless, if you really pose, pause and think about it, you'll realize that there was a whole lot of really interesting stuff going on, a lot of people involved in your birth, um, just beside your parents, and um, a, lot of, a lot of specific things had to occur in order for you to be born, uh, regardless of, you know, how your theology of, of um, you know, creation, you are still perfectly special and uh, have a great purpose. So back to the question, you know, what kind of child will this be? Um, rephrase that a little bit. You know, what kind of child are you? You know, it's not talking about, you know, are you a four-year-old child? Um, Jesus talks about uh, being like a child. And not in a naive way, but in a in a willingness to maybe open your mind to the world, to uh, not be judgmental. You know, children often aren't judgmental at all, and uh, to to see through the eyes of a child um, when God is trying to talk to you and stop being such a responsible, um, perfect adult that uh, is so set in habits and, and reality that you're not willing to bend when God is trying to mold you. Um, so, for me today, uh, the last couple days have been a little uh, strenuous on my mind, and um, especially on my body, getting back to where I work. We're kind of getting back into some things here and not used to uh, working quite that hard, <laughs> I'd say in a different way. And... Um, I can feel it yesterday and, and today. And so this is an important question here for me. You know, what kind of child am I going to be? 
am I going to be a an open-minded child to the Holy Spirit and let him guide me out of this uh, kind of tiredness uh, I don't need to go any further um, or am I just going to let my emotions and my thoughts run my life all day long and I know for the past that doesn't bode so well uh, so that's what I'm gonna work on today whenever I have weird thoughts whenever I feel down Whenever I start feeling my energy plummet, all those things, I'm just going to come back. Let, let God refill me with that thought of, well, Brandon, what kind of child are you going to be? What, what do you want to be? Let him guide me to be that child. Ooh, and we can, I can preach a whole sermon on that one. Uh, being yourself, <laughs> being who you're meant to be being who you are purposed to be and uh, God is definitely in it even if you don't think he is on that note uh, again a little bit longer than I wanted to be but I think some very good points and some good things to think about please please leave your questions down below uh, whatever questions you come up with you may not even use that question there at the bottom what kind of child will this be what kind of child will you be there may be something else in there that just strikes you with what's going on in your life. And uh, that question...